2014. The release of iOS 8. The beginning of a whole new era, but the funeral of the iPhone 4S. And with funeral I mean using the iPhone 4S on iOS 8 is the biggest pain in the ass experience I've gathered in my whole life. Followed closely by the iPhone 3G on iOS 4. Or the iPhone 4 on iOS 7. Or the iPod Touch 4th gen on iOS 6. Okay, I think you get the point. To bypass this definition of slowness, I've downgraded my iPhone 4S to iOS 6. Actually, I've also downgraded my black iPhone 4S to iOS 6, but unfortunately it blew up a few weeks ago and if you take a look at this edge it seems like it won't take a long time till this device imitates this presumptuous behavior anyway the iPhone 4S is the successor of the iPhone 4 and was released in 2011. The biggest changes in comparison to its predecessor were an absolutely stupid Siri, a design adaption to avoid the antenna gate, and some hardware improvements like, okay, I think nobody of you cares about those boring numbers. Okay, let's take a glimpse at my iPhone 4S and hope that it won't blow up in this video. The first huge difference in comparison to modern iPhones might be the lock screen. All you have to do to unlock your phone is to slide this little button to the right side and back in the days, it was an enjoyment every time you did it. On the home screen you can see the cool, classic, pre-installed Apple apps of iOS 6, which mostly aren't supported anymore, but take a look at these legendary icons. They are so cool, beautiful and not stolen from Windows Phone. And now take a look at this. The Apple Cover Flow, an absolutely redundant feature Apple took out comprehensively. If you want to open the notification center, you have to slide down. Then it shows you the current weather for 3 seconds and it remembers that there's no weather service for iOS 6 anymore. To open up the control center, you just have to slide up. You just have... you... Oh wait, no, it has no control center. Okay, right now you might think that this device is absolutely unnecessary and unusable nowadays, especially with iOS 6 installed. And this is exactly the case. It makes absolutely no sense to use the iPhone 4S in 2020, no matter which version of iOS you're using. With iOS 6 you have almost no app support, but your phone is fast. With iOS 8 you can install two apps more, but it is slow as shit. But maybe Siri can restore the iPhone 4S reputation. <laughs> Um, I mean, let's take a look at it. Hi Siri. Hello, I don't think we've been introduced. What can you do? Do you like Alexa? I'm a big fan of good listeners and helpful beings. You suck. I'm trying my best. With those wonderful words, I want to bring this video to an end. If you liked this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. See you next time, hombres. Adios.